there are always moral panics around media. So one of the earliest moral panics was around reading novels. You know, parents used to be freaked out when kids were reading romance novels or Horatio Alger. And yet, we have now adapted as a society where we really want our kids to read, and we, but we had to go through that. Media is, you know, it moves quickly. Um, it, it, there, as soon as there's a new media, usually young people adapt to it very quickly. And the rest of us, digital immigrants is how we're called. The kids are digital natives because they've grown up with it. We have to adapt. And so we're scared, we're worried, we don't understand it. It takes a while. What's really interesting now, I've had actually parents, you know, when I was growing up, TV was the horrible thing. Now I have people saying, I wish my kid would watch TV. All he does is play video games. I have a 15-year-old and an 18-year-old. I have myself been through that fear phase. And the fear phase is, Oh no, my child is addicted. Oh no, my child's never gonna get anything done. Um, they're multitasking, they're not doing their homework, they're lonely. Um, you know, the, the facts are most kids go through a phase where they spend a lot of time with their media. They use media to socialize now, so that's very different than from when we were growing up. And it's perfectly normal. Most kids are doing this in the service of development. So they're doing it for identity development, they're doing it to connect with friends, they're dealing it, using it for emotion regulation, all the kinds of things that are just typical, normal um, psychological development. Media is just a tool that's servicing that. So if you have a kid that's anxious, um, or a kid that um, is not doing well on typical indicators, so psychosocial indicators like sleep. Are they getting enough sleep? Are they eating? Are they doing well in school? Are they um, you know, socializing in person? Do they look you in the face? Um, are they um, you know, eating well? If all of those things are normal, then the media use, you really, even if they're using media all the time, Chances are they're just fine. However, if you, you know, if they are not sleeping, they're cranky, they have mood swings, they, you know, don't seem to be eating, they're hidden in their room all the time, then you worry. And media is probably just one piece of the problem, and it's a way that they may be, they may be using the media to deal with other things. Well, I think the first thing would be to actually seek um, um, help, um, meaning a therapist or somebody in your community. Um, another thing would be to check with the school, see if there are other adults that are seeing some of the factors that you are seeing in your child. Um, I always remember um, a clinical psychologist said, if, you, if you're the only one noticing it and it's in your home, but nobody else has said anything, there's a chance it could just be the parent-child dynamic rather than a serious problem. So see if other people in your child's community are seeing these things. And then, um, you know, talk to your kid. Talk to your kid about it. 